Well, it seems like in the world of alternative quote unquote medicine, and actually a lot of things that I put on here that are say alternative are not alternative in other countries. They may be, I really, when I do my research, um, I'll look at what Germany does, Japan does, Israel does, Russia does, China does, or whatever. Some of the best scientists, and maybe it's not done here in the United States, but that doesn't mean it's not backed by hard science. Now, there seems to be a polarization. I just want to pre preface this with this. Now, I'm going to take this right from the government site. Some people groan at that and say, well, the government site, oh, that's bad. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. And they're actually telling you something good about Ebola as a method of treatment if the medical system gets overwhelmed you could do this as a first aid emergency type thing amongst many other things and i'll mention some other things i also put out a video which was unpopular that i stated and now i'm an advocate of colloidal silver i think colloidal silver is great i just know it's not some kind of cure-all thing it's like a cure-all in a petri dish to cure all topically in a body it's got limitations and people just don't want to believe this and then on the opposite side of the camp there's people that want to see a triple blind study by the FDA that's been researched that you know you're not going to get all that because there is a money angle in the United States but I try to look at things that are from other countries that are from scientists no matter what I put out it's like there's, there seems to be one camp going one way and one camp going the other way. But anyway, this comes from um, actually the government site, and uh, it's not per the government per se, but they're saying a potential use of melatonin as a treatment for Ebola virus disease. And they're talking about if the system is overwhelmed, you might want to have this in your first aid kit along with uh, you know, a known antiviral from China, which has been one of the main routes, is astragalus root, uh, selenium, vitamin C, um, colloidal silver, and I'll even talk a little bit about ozone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right, you know, because if I put this out, you know, alternative people will think I gotta say it's a cure all. I'm not gonna tell you it's a cure all because it's not. And actually, you need trained professionals sometimes with a lot of these things because you got to watch with toxic doses like selenium could be really great but then there's toxic side there's you can go too high on that now vitamin c i like putting out because from everything i read from medical doctors there's no toxic limit when given intravenously but you got to get that from a doctor doctor right intravenous for it to really be effective maybe liposomal might help too right oral vitamin c might help it's good to have an emergency first aid kit and you got no recourse. That's how I'm putting this. I'm not telling you it's a cure cure because I'm getting I'm getting the heat from both sides here from the alternative people and the people who want to have a triple blind study from the freaking uh, FDA. You know, you're not going to get one or the other. So I'm putting out a happy medium. But here they're saying that the use of melatonin, which is a cheap supplement for the treatment of Ebola virus is encouraged. It says it's got a very high safety profile and it's readily available and can be orally self-administered. So, I mean, you know, if the system gets overwhelmed, this is some pretty good stuff to keep on hand. And uh, thus, the use of melatonin is compatible with a large scale of a serious outbreak where the system got overwhelmed. And you want to try to, it's just an emergency first aid thing. I'm not telling you it's a cure. You know, colloidal silver, keep that on hand. It's emergency first aid, vitamin C, emergency first aid, selenium, astragalus root, coconut oil. Coconut oil actually is another viral destroyer. Oil of oregano, right? But are they cure cures? No. Okay? Come on. <laughs> you know, people cuss me out on one side or the other, and I'm like, damn, man, I'm really putting out a nice balanced rational thing here if i'm not going extreme one way or the other now also with ozone this is uh you know a lot of people say you know ozone is actually ozone has been used uh is used in a lot of countries and but it's not used here in the united states in the medical world some states allow it to be used by alternative health practitioners but it's not actually used like by the actual medical system endorsed by the fda and all this type of stuff now, actually, with ozone, you got to be kind of careful because if you take, it's it's a balance. 
that's really kind of where you, it's not really I really couldn't say it's kind of where you need you really should have if you do too little of it it's not going to work if you do too much of it it's going to be harmful it's not you know like in the case of vitamin C even if you took too much of it orally the worst you're going to get is a bowel intolerance you know uh, it's not going to be like really really bad with ozone you got to watch man you just different methods of using it but actually, even per the government, they'll tell you there's a lot of different references. It's, it's been used to treat uh, diseases with infected wounds, circulatory disorders. They use that a lot. Of, they use this in Germany, like with circulatory disorders, like when you have diabetes and the legs or have bad circulation. You know, in the United States, they might amputate or something. You know, if it gets too bad, if there's infection. In Germany, what they would do is they would inject ver uh, uh, medical grade ozone. That's a doctor doing it, not you, uh, into the veins and basically um, heals. It heals. It oxygenates and heals. And it saves from people who have amputated limbs in diabetic situations or severe infections. They do this in the, you know, the best Western worlds, best Western countries with the highest uh, advanced medicines. It's just not done here. And I know it is freaking a damn conspiracy because it's too cheap man i don't know what the hell can i tell you but this is right off the government so you know i just want to get out of these stupid arguments from people one side or the other because there's people out there just saying you know i i got to show triple blind studies on everything and i'm like i i already know they're not gonna you're not gonna find that in the fda but it is it does exist as valid treatments now ozone by iv would it work against ebola i think it would I think it would. You know, I mean, if you're in Israel, Germany, or Japan or something, you probably get that kind of treatment. You're not going to get it over here in the United States. So they used it for geriatric concerns, macular degeneration, viral diseases, rheumatism, arthritis, cancer, SARS, and AIDS. So, you know, they used it for a lot of different things. It actually is kind of a cure-all, but you got to watch when you say that because you really need to be a medical professional when you're administering ozone uh, to the body, whether it's locally in the veins or whatever, it's like you really need to be a medical professional because if it's too weak, it's not going to work. If it's too strong, it's going to overwhelm the body and it's going to be harmful. So it's this is not one of these. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, you know, maybe in a last ditch emergency situation, you'll probably. Uh, I don't know, you could drink, uh, do ozone rectal sulfation or something. I don't know. I mean, that's a safer way. You're not going to be doing IV. I know that. That's dangerous for a regular person to do that. And it's uh, you got to be a trained professional. But you still, you can, you can mess up anyway with ozone because the stuff, it's a balance. Even medicines, why do you think you have doctors? Like I could take any, you could be any prescription medicine out there. If you take too little of it, don't work. You take too much, it could be very harmful. It's a balance. So, ozone could be, in the hands of a skilled professional, pretty damn close to a cure-all. In the hands of a skilled professional. I'll say that. That's not snake oil. That's right off the government sites and everything. Now, the other thing I was going to get back to is melatonin. I don't sell this stuff. I'm going to have to show this site. I personally, I personally get most of my supplements from this place called Puritan.com. I personally, it's my personal opinion. I don't freaking sell nothing here and here or nothing. I'm not getting no kickbacks to doing advertisement here or nothing like that. It's like I just say I'm doing this. I found, see, these guys have been around as the largest mail order vitamin supplement place. They test the stuff because a lot of vitamins are coming from China, but they test every, you know, across the board no matter where you get them. You know, you go in Walmart, there are Chinese vitamins and stuff in there left and right. Puritan Pride actually. They're USA or they're checked in the USA, and they've been around since 1947. I think they are the best quality for the money. So melatonin, right? You can get five, um, five sixty capsule things or whatever it is for or whatever. You know, I mean, depends on the dosage. For twenty bucks, twenty one bucks. How's that, right? So we talked about that before. We talked about, um, you know. What I just said here with the melatonin using against the Ebola virus. So, anyway, um, you know, that's emergency last-ditch measure. So, I just want to put this out here because 
There is a lot of actual things you can do. This is one of them that's not being t discussed. Uh, they're telling everybody on the internet colloidal silver or nano silver, which is another name for high quality colloidal silver, is a cure, cure, and they're using the word cure for Ebola. I'm thinking it's a uh, damn, I would do the colloidal silver. I'd take the best stuff, but uh, it doesn't even cure a common cold. So use your common sense. I'm not knocking it, I'm just telling you, I'm, what I'm knocking is the exaggerations. But on the other side, these other yo-yos are telling you all this stuff is snake oil, and it's not. It's been used throughout the, the ages. It's been used in other countries and with advanced medical uh, uh, you know, infrastructure in place. And it's been tested in other countries, and it's been studied in other countries. Uh, you know, melatonin and ozone are a couple that I, you know, I just want to emphasize again. But uh, there's also uh, death various things like vitamin C. The liposomal vitamin C may be one of your best first aid emergency maneuvers for emergency maneuvers for um, Ebola if you got no recourse to anything because you really can't take too much of it and you need a hell of a lot of it to uh, really combat a viral condition. But I just want to point out, you know, I'm, I'm showing it right here. You know, this is the government saying it too. The government's not trying to kill you. Actually, I, what I think's going on when I'm talking conspiracy in the government, what's going on is it's not the whole government doing it. There's bad elements. There's evil elements. It's not the government at large. It's not the whole government's doing it. Like I mean, I think Ebola was you know patented in some uh, niche lab someplace in uh, some secret. Black Project Defense Department budget or something and released on the population, but it's not the government doing it per se. You know, I, I delve into the conspiracy somewhat, but it's like it's like I don't get into it where I think everybody's out to get me in the government. The government's on your side. A lot of those people are on your side. What I'm telling you is that uh, you got bad elements. It's just like the CIA's got bad elements. It's not saying the whole CIA is bad. It's like that, and that's what you got to watch for. So we got to watch and look at, you know, what the problem really is. And they're telling you, hey, you know, this stuff with the melatonin is one of the things that they haven't talked about on the alternative media. But here the government itself is actually telling you, well, it's not the government. It's actually per, you know, an, another uh, <laughs> other people that contributed to this. But the thing is, you know, it's they're not telling you it's a cure-all. They're not telling you it's a effective treatment like it's going to definitely work. It's it's called like this is something you can do. You take a pill orally. It's cheap. It ain't gonna you know. I just showed you the prices. Um, it's readily available. It's got a high safety profile, and it seems to really help with Ebola. And it, it will it, you know. And if the medical system gets overwhelmed, you want to have some of this melatonin on hand. You want to have some colloidal silver on hand, vitamin C. I'm not telling you these are cures. You know, those other guys, you know, alternative La La Land are telling you they're cures. I'm not. But, you know, on the other side, is I got these people telling me, where's the triple blind study from the FDA? Oh, God. You know, come on, man. I mean, I, if they're using a lot of this stuff, I know they use ozone all throughout the world, man. They use it like crazy. They use it in Cuba, for crying out loud. If you could swim that far, you can go over to Cuba and get treatment. But you're not going to get it over here in the United States too easy, and it's not endorsed by the FDA. But even though you're looking at the website PubMed, which is, at, which is from the Gov, they're telling you that they're recognizing that it is widely used for all those things. It's, it's probably one of the closest things to a cure-all. And I have to repeat again, when you're using that word like cure-all, that's you being used in conjunction with skilled medical professional people because there's various ways to administer ozone. They got saunas, they got IV, they got rectal sulfilation, they got where you're actually just treating the wound area. Um, there's all different strengths of it, and you really need to know what the hell you're doing. Uh, and if you're if it's a matter of life and death, and you got no medical professional, you know. I mean, then you want to try it, you know what I mean? But otherwise, uh, you know, it's like you can't do it without the medical professionals. I'm just going to tell you that again, but it's, you know, I'm not telling you it's a magic magic bullet, but, you know, this is a cool thing. The melatonin, 20 bucks. I ain't selling it. There's no link. 
I mean, I I just tell you, I buy. If you, I showed videos of all my supplements. You'll see most of them say Puritan's Pride on them. I that's I've been buying supplements a while, and I thought they're the best deal. They've been around since '47, and they're USA tested at least. If they're not made in the USA, they test them. They got their own labs, and they got the facilities to do it. So I think they're safe, and they got a good prices. They're competitive. So anyway, I'm not trying to like uh, steer anybody the wrong way, too extreme one way or the other. So over and out, and this is another thing that's not being told to you. Uh, melatonin as a possible first aid treatment for Ebola in an emergency situation.